Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to ACAD Guild's project session. In our last session, we saw what are the various rule checkings and validation process. In today's session, we will wrap up the project by doing some kind of analysis on our validated data. So let's begin. So there are certain problem statements for which we need to write the query and get the result. So first comes the purchase pattern detection. Okay. So in this problem statement, one is what is the most purchased category for every user? Identify the users with a maximum amount of valid purchase. So it's like, see, every unique user will purchase some kind of items. Items may vary. I mean, items can come under different categories. So we need to find out the most purchased category for every user. Okay, let's see the solution. You have the solution ready in your solution document. So first of all, a table is getting created named user category aggregate work. Okay, user ID category and frequency partitioned by on date stored as ORC file format. Okay, because it compresses the data. Okay. Now in this, in this table, we are inserting the data from user activity core, product info core. Okay. We are joining these two table, which we had already created and inserted valid data in the table. So what we are doing from user activity core and product info core, we are getting the data we are joining these two tables based on some common field that is product id based on product id we are joining the table and finding the result okay what exactly we are finding we are finding the user id category and count okay as well as the timestamp it is taking okay so we are finding these things and we are grouping because for every unique user, we need to find out the result. So we are grouping by ID and category. Okay. So this is the query for the problem statement. So I guess I have already created the table and performed the analysis. Let me just check. Okay. Just give me a minute for that. I need to enter into hive shell. So Hive shall have already started. I need to use the database where I have all the tables. Okay, so the table name is user category get work. Let me just copy it and then do select star from. Yeah. I already had the analysis, so uh, answer is here. Okay, so uh, the electronics equipment is the category, and all based on that, we have received the solution. As I have already informed you earlier, the data is small, so uh, you might feel okay, the query is taking less time and all. So you will understand properly if you have huge amount of data and you do these kind of analysis. Okay, so this is the solution for your first problem statement. Similarly, next is which product are generating maximum profit. Okay, so we have the solution for that as well. Okay, which products are generating maximum profit? So this particular query is their solution. Okay, and it is very simple solution, guys. You can very well go through the solution, and uh, you know you can understand what exactly is happening in this solution. So for every problem statement, we have provided the solution. Okay. So either purchase pattern detection or fraud detection, whatever it is, we have provided the solution in the solution document. You can go through it. Okay. The solutions are simple and self explanatory. See for fraud detection as well, we have the solution available. All right. So then this was the analysis phase. Once you complete your analysis, you have to 
push the data back into database mysql okay that was the requirement the end requirement of the project was data export export to where to mysql table or any other rdbms or no sql table from where you are generating the report based on the scenario it can be so we have chosen mysql table so for this we can write scoop job and we can export the data from hadoop to mysql okay see the same thing we are doing we are exporting the we are exporting the uh, analyst analyzed result directly from hive to mysql so one one way of doing is using edge catalog you can use edge catalog and directly you can do the uh, you know transfer or you can also use mysql okay any any one of the choice and solution is available here using mysql so we are just connecting our database okay and exporting the table whatever we are we want to export it okay so i hope you enjoyed the session in case you you have any doubt you can very well reach out to the support team for the solution have a great day thank you